the prosecution having established the guilt beyond reasonable doubt. Thumbs down for every acquittal, while claps and prayers for every convicted murderer. This was the scene outside Camp Bagong Diwa in Taguig City on Thursday, where the supporters of the Maguindanao Massacre Victims Troop 2 and held the vigil protest in hopes to achieve justice, which has been very elusive for 10 years. And so as Quezon City Judge Jocelyn Solis Reyes gave the principal accused of the deadliest election-related violence in Philippine history a guilty verdict, an area along the sidewalks of the camp was filled with shouts, claps, and even a pose, seemingly striking, Thank you, Lord. But the shed of joy in broad daylight was cut short after two other members of the Ampatuan clan and more than 50 policemen who had their roles in the November 23, 2009 mass murder were acquitted at the same time. The National Union of Journalists of the Philippines, or NUJP, said they welcomed the court's decision and commended Reyes for upholding the rule of law. But for them and for the widows, relatives, sons and daughters of the victims, it was just a partial victory in their long march for justice. Hindi mo saya po kasi uh, almost 10 years yung paghihintay namin. Sa 10 years na yun, naging worth it kasi yung primary suspect, yung mga principal suspect ay, ay na-convict or na-guilty. Walang sawang na-supporta, tsaka sa mga pula na hindi na puso ko na ma-amot yung so, sino yung ba ito ng unfortunate na lahat na po ng hindi po ito sa kasong ito? Uh, siguro maraming maraming salamat din sa lawyer na po namin, si Lorne Pastores, at saka sa mga lahat po namin siya na hindi po, uh, hindi po kami kumuhanan. Uh, maraming salamat. The family said the decision is just a small step toward ending impunity in the country. But for them, the fact that half a hundred accused were still freed and 80 individuals who took part in the massacre are still at large is something that is very crucial. Kaya sa ngayon, mayroong mga akwit, mayroong hindi nakasalit. Uh, yun ang iniisip namin pangamba. Marahil magamit ito ng mga patot sa doon laban sa akin ng mga taong kamusta sa labas Despite achieving justice which every victim deserves, the families and the groups who have been helping them since the tragedy happened said safety of the bereaved families is still on top of their priority. And for them, the quest for justice is not yet over. Hanatabios, Manila Bulletin.